Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today in deck number 867, we're going to talk about Shishiro, the Shattered Blade. A Gruul commander from the Commander product from Neon Dynasty. Whenever an aura or equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you make a 2-2 spirit with Menace. That's, that's Menace, getting Menace kind of tacked on there for free isn't bad. So at the beginning of your end step, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on each modified creature you control. So, we got to have creatures. We got to modify them. And the deck kind of lends itself because whenever you cast an aura or equipment, uh, I'm sorry, enters the battlefield, you get a token. So, first and foremost, we are playing two colors, so let's look at our mana fixing. We have got... Uh, the usual artifact suspects here, you know, Soul Ring, Gruel Signet, Locket, Clue Stone, and the Seer's Lantern. But I also wanted to do a little bit of enchantment stuff, you know, Wild Growth, Utopia Sprawl, Urban Utopia, Fertile Ground, and Overgrowth. And then Fertilin, because Fertilin is a modified creature, you know, uh, and it's good mana ramp. And getting extra plus one counters on it is really good. Uh, Orochi Merge Keeper, another good, good, uh, if it's modified, you get, produces double the mana. So, our preferred method, there, there are three ways to modify a, 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 a creature. You know, a, a, an aura we control, an equipment, or a plus one counter. So, my favorite was, well, if the creature dies, the counter goes with it. If the creature dies, the aura goes with it. But if it's carrying an equipment, the equipment just falls to the ground for the next creature to pick up, right? So, I went really heavy on equipment. So let's start off with Mage Slayer. Kind of a beast of a sword here. This thing is... Whew, uh, it, it, yeah, it, it, it's not double strike, but kind of. <laughs> Wings of Hubris. I wanted a, uh, a flying equipment. Now... One thing I tried to do was as cheap of an equip cost as I could. Um, I know Wings of Hubris and, and like uh, Tattered Wings, stuff like that. They reprint that style all the time. And I like it because it gives you a shot against the flying deck. Or, you know, the, the giant whatever that happens to be coming your way. Uh, boots of Speed, one to cast, one to equip, you know. Uh, short Sword, same thing there, one and one. Dueling Rapier. Now, I, I like free equips, too. It costs one mana. It has Flash. Your first equip is free. Plus two. So, um, it's not really designed to be a Voltron deck because the object is to have as many modified creatures as possible to go wide and not tall, you know, um, that way. But in theory, I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> um, Swiftfoot Boots, Black Blade Reforge is a one hell of a sword. Um, Ninja's Kunai, Grifter's Blade, you got that free equip. Uh, Ceremonial Knife, Armory of Irois, Explorer's Scope. Rune Stalactite. Like I said, quite a bit of equipment. Uh, a Chroma Sword, because well, why not, right? Sword of Vengeance. Fire Shrieker, love that double strike. Spare Dagger, one and one. Loxodon Warhammer. Bone Splitter. The Ranger's Longbow. Gives it reach. <clears throat> Another <laughs> very useful ability. So we don't have a whole lot of flyers. Um, the Bramble Armor, Pen and Blade for each creature you control. So every time we're casting one of these, in theory, we're getting a Spirit Token. So this could add up to be some serious pump. Uh, bronze Cudgels. And then Leather Armor. Now, we have a new classification. We have <laughs> Equipment Creatures. Uh, they can be a creature or an equipment. If they are not attached to a creature, then they are a creature themselves. So uh, I like this because 
Number one, we get the trigger when we cast. And number two, it can hold equipment because we have a lot of equipment, not a lot of creatures. So these kind of double duty there. The rabbit battery, bronze plate boar, simian sling, tanuka transplanter, web spinner cuff, and the Kamanu battle armor. I kind of like those for this specific deck, um, just because options. Options are always good. A little bit of card draw, you know, I mean, we have Soul's Majesty and Shamanic Revelation. Um, one is good for go wide, one is good for go tall. So there's, you know, both sides of that. Uh, the other way, uh, let's see, Invigorating Hot Spring here, uh, Enchantment, and, you know, your modified creatures have haste. That's beautiful. This is way better than Ifa Grove. Uh, there's a deep cut for, you know, the three of you that know what Ifa Grove is without, without looking. Um, remove a 1 1 counter from it to put a 1 1 counter in a creature you control only once at sorcery speed. That's fine, I guess, because it does grant haste. Um, but, and then we have one with the Kami, uh, an aura that has flash, so which we're going to modify it that way. Whenever enchanted creature or another modified creature you control dies, make X 1-1 one, one colorless spirit tokens where X is that creature's power. Well, obviously, if it's modified, it's going to be more than likely bigger. So, um, or another modified creature. So that, it works for the whole team, even though one person's carrying it. So that's really, really kind of nice. Now, our regular good old-fashioned creatures, well, we only got six. Because the idea is we're going to be making tokens, right? Um, we have have Renata. So um, each other creature you control, doesn't matter if it's red or green, is going to enter with a 1-1 one, one counter. So all those 2-2 two, two spirit tokens are going to be 2-2s two, with a 1-1 one, one counter, hence making them modified. So that's why Renata got the call. Grumgully. Each other non-human creature you control enters a battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. Um, that's all of them. <laughs> there again, for the spirit token. Uh, Goblin, a Narcomancer, uh, just, that probably should have been with the uh, mana reduction stuff. Uh, Krinko, because this guy loves plus one, plus one counters. Telling you what, and makes them goblins. Here again, part of our, our uh, token army. Loyal Guardian. If you leave combat, if you control your commander, well, that's the idea. Uh, we put a 1-1 counter on your team. Modify your whole team. So, love this guy. And then lastly, we have Walking Skyscraper, which I can envision a time where this is going to be free. Because it costs one less for each modified creature you control, right? Um, and it's hexproof, as long as it's untapped. We trample, 8-8. Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> And since we are the going wide, you know, we do have overrun. I wanted, oh, this is autographed by a man named Goose. Uh, love you, Goose. Thank you very much. Um, there was a thing. Uh, if you're interested why it's autographed or the date, let me know. It, it, it's a cute little video. I guess I, I could do it. It'd be short. But appreciate it, Goose. Um, predatory focus. Just... If you got to get through and they've got blockers, you can just predatory focus before you attack. And um, yeah. And then overcome because I wanted another copy of the overrun type effect. Right? So uh, let's see. That brings us to removal. Now, decimate. It's a great magic card. There's no other way to put it. Um, Kinra's Transformation, Naturalize, Beast Within, Artifact Mutation. I like the uh, uh, Acidics line because it does hold equipment very well. Nobody wants to really swing into it. Uh, I'd love to give this Shoker the wings so, you know, nobody really wants to swing into it. Crumble, one mana, instant speed, removal. I love it. Uh, return to Nature and Cloth's Will. 
like this one, X damage to each creature without flying, or disrupt X artifacts and or enchantments. So uh, it's a good way to wipe the board if you just need to do that. Which is going to bring us to our non-basic lands. Uh, nothing special here. These are just color-fixing lands, you know. Terramorphic Expanse, Evolving Wilds, Rugged Highland, Mossfire Valley, Gruel Turf, Temple of Abandon, Game Trail, Gruel Guildgate, Command Tower, Timber Gorge, and Kazando Refuge. And that is Shasiro. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Chris, you played this deck, right? Um, so I played against it. I know that because I know the counters were just happening over and over. Um, I think that was, I think that was Chris. I don't, like I said, I don't exactly remember how that game went, but, um, because we play a bunch of games with a bunch of people, so. 867's on the wall. We are well into Kamigawa Neon Dynasty now. It's hard for me not to call it Neon Destiny. Are you having that problem too? Um, I have to mentally correct myself every time because I want to say Neon Destiny. I don't know why. Um, but that is it for today. I do appreciate y'all watching, liking, and subscribing. If, if you've watched till this point and still haven't subscribed, go down there and subscribe. It means the world. We're getting close to 6K. Uh, appreciate it. But we're going to go ahead and shuffle and cut.